I met up with a few of my friends to go to a coffee shop so that way, one, we can have some great coffee and some tea too. And two, because my friend Emily also worked at this coffee shop. So we figured, hey, go have some coffee, visit our friend Emily at the same time. After I parked the car, I saw my friends, John, Chris, and July walking across the street, looking like they're about to fight Scorpion and Sub-Zero. Because you know, the whole mask thing is still going on. John gives me a bro hug and then suddenly asks, wait, are we doing hugs here? Hugs, we doing hugs? Anyone hugs? <laughs> After already hugging me, because you know, the whole virus stuff, Chris gives the whole, not until I get my vaccine spiel. And as for me, I told him, I don't give a fuck. You guys can come hug me and be human if you want. And look, I didn't exactly say it that way, but you get the point though. And look, man, I love my friends way too much to deprive them of not being open arms, of not having them be close to me. I miss them, I love them, so I am always down for some hugs, down open arms, all the time, all day, every day. Anyway, moving on, I put my mask on before entering the coffee shop because it's a business. We go inside the coffee shop, order coffee, and sit down on the patio area and hang out with our other friend that joined us after she clocked out. When my friend Emily walked outside and she put her bag down, I noticed her bag had a BLM pin on it. It made me want to va- It's the funniest thing to me because she says she's LGBTQ, she's a feminist, she's Antifa, she's a barista, <laughs> and all of a sudden now she's BLM, apparently. I mean, for goodness sake, pick a team. She can literally put all of these things on her resume and get hired anywhere that she would apply because, you know, California. For having a casual hangout conversation amongst a group of Generation Z Californians in their early 20s, there is surprisingly not that much liberal, social justice warrior craziness that was being said for most of the time. Sure, there was the occasional, oh, F that governor, or uh, my favorite. I started a theater group designed for people of color. What? Uh, whatever the hell that means. But at no time during those five hours spent with my friends did I get all Ben Shapiro on them because one thing is for sure, I'm not a right wing nerd and I am not a political nerd at that. I mean, plus imagine telling four people that like all the racial, social justice stuff that their thing is stupid and bogus. It ain't gonna work out for you. It's like playing a 1v4 in Halo. It's a complete waste of time. And look, at any point, I could have made fun of them for wearing their masks in public or making fun of them for talking about all their crazy race stuff. Instead, I saved my jokes and funnies for this video. And I chose to just relax and spend my time with my friends because look, straight up, my friendship and just my friends in general, they are way more important to me than politics. So I'm never just gonna, you know, ruin the whole fun time because they're all saying a whole bunch of crazy nonsense. You know what I'm saying? Don't waste your time with dumb stuff. Pick your battles.